The Still Standing Comedy Tour is coming to a city near you. Bridgeport, Connecticut. I am actually there this weekend, April 19th and 20th at the Stress Factory. Cleveland, Ohio, April 26th, 27th. Raleigh, May 3rd and 4th. Tacoma, Washington, May 10th and 11th. London, London, UK, baby. I am coming one night only with B. Simone. The Still Standing Comedy Tour is May 18th. London, get your tickets now. Do I have a lot of London fans? Are y'all listening to me over there in London? Let me know in the comments. Comments and let me know if y'all are in London. Louisville, Kentucky. Did I say that right? Louisville, Louisville. It got an S, but some people say Louis. Some people say Louis, but I'm coming. May 24th, 26th, Ontario, California, June 7th and 9th. Dallas, Texas, that is my home hometown. June 13th, I will be at the Majestic Theater. We are going to sell that baby out. I'm going to have some surprise guests, so get ready for that. That's going to be a really big show on this tour. Chicago, Illinois, July 12th through the 14th at the Improv. Washington, D.C., July 26th, 28th at the Improv. All of these cities, if you heard your city, you're in a surrounding city, make sure you pull up to the Still Standing Comedy Tour. Tickets are available at officialbsimone.com. Bridgeport, I will see you this weekend. Y'all, let's get into the show. I know y'all ready for this guest, Crystal Renee. Let's go, baby. What's up, you guys? I'm your host, B. Simone, and welcome to the Let's Try This Again podcast. Let's try this again. What? My mind is officially blown. I woke up this morning to my podcast producer texting me that we were number one in our category. Our category is society and culture. And we're number 14 in the world. In the whole world of every single podcast that is on Apple, I am number 14 in the world. I am number one in my category. If I would have let the enemy shut me up, if I would have let fear paralyze me, if I would have let my negative thoughts keep me in the same spot, I would not be here. That is exactly what this podcast is about. Resilience, doing it scared, doing it anyway. I'm scared, do it anyway. I don't have no money, try anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Figure it out anyway. That is exactly what LTTA is about. And that, y'all, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I can believe it, but I'm like, what? Welcome to the number one. Oh my God, thank you, God. I was so scared to do this, y'all. I was so scared. We're number one in society and culture. We're number 14 in all categories. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Don't stop, you guys. Resilience. Resilience is what LTTA is all about. My God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, she just sang the national anthem. <laughs> it freaking <laughs> killed me. Oh you, my God. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It wasn't forced. Because you know how sometimes you, you know get to the end, doing. you start too high. She killed Period. it. Because that's what we did. That's what we did. She got her jersey signed. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Shantae Murray, DJ. Yes. My it's, favorite Hawk. Look, y'all yeah, know. I am not that into basketball. And in the beginning, I was like, this is, you know, of course, been to basketball games, the soccer games, whatever. But once it gets intense at the end, that's when Vina kissed me on my face and there is lip gloss all over me. The end was fire because it was so intense. It was like they had one, one up by one, down by two, up by three, down by two. It was crazy. What? It was a whirlwind. Like they be trying, they play, stop playing with me like that. <laughs> she was so scared. I was. I was she like, has to perform her first live show. It's Saturday. I'm so sad. I'm missing her. I'm Philly. But she's not supposed to be screaming. Man, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> and she got. I'm be quiet. I said. I was like, let me shut up. Cause. She's not supposed to, she gotta say that voice. I had to be like Beyonce. <laughs> Vocal rest. Yeah, that was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, love you guys. I just had to update you guys. 
Where are we going? Are we going to eat still? We are going to eat. Girl, I can't eat, but I'm gonna go sit with them. And I'm gonna get some water and juice. <laughs> All right, lay y'all. I have water and juice with you. That's what I need to eat. Yeah. Who's it for? Uh, Just. Setting up, we got an Airbnb. Hey, Angel, who's number one? <laughs> up tonight, the night before, we got an Airbnb. We're gonna switch out some of this furniture because a few people in Atlanta have used this Airbnb before. We got gifts for our guests, of course. Let's try this again with B. Simone. Gifts, um, some perfume, candles, and merch. We're gonna switch this couch out, I'm thinking. So we're gonna see, this house has a lot of areas. It makes me want to find a property that I can actually shoot in and rent out because we did my condo for the first episode. It wasn't a lot of space. I don't want every single guest in my home. The guests that we're having tomorrow, oh, Crystal Renee is coming too. Those guests are personal to me, so they're cool, but every guest I'm not gonna know. So every guest I don't want in my home. So we just rented out of space. And yeah, it has a lot of areas. So we'll see how Pod Day goes tomorrow. Pod Day, and look who we got. Crystal. I'm here. It's my friend, y'all. Yeah. I got famous friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you for coming. <laughs> we are gonna pod today. I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but it's gonna be real, raw, and unfiltered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not. Or, or maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you more. How do you feel? Amazing. You going out of town today? Yes. Where are you going? I think I go to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I don't sound like one. It's a, oh, it's a gig. Oh, okay, okay. She <laughs> like works. that sound like a man. No, she works. I wish. I wish. <laughs> I'm like, I, I would fly to Utah for then. I would fly to Idaho. 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 I would fly to Idaho. Idaho don't even exist. <laughs> oh, you get some money. Mm -hmm. Let me hold Always. a dollar. I got you. She okay. rich. You see that neck? <laughs> you see that neck? <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. I'm so excited for this episode with this girl. She's a beauty inside and out. I know what? I was like, hold on. This hair need to grow. I'm sick of this fade. Damn. Okay. You see her? Oh yeah, that looks great. All right, ladies. Can she not? Can we frame her up? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, this is gorgeous. Girl, a little bit of water, a little bit of Jesus. It's everything. Vitamins. Yeah, it is literally everything. Everything in one. I'm excited. And don't take them. I used to be like that, and then I, I had to get on it. Because as you get older, you got to like... For your vitamins, oh, it's yeah. no joke. No, vitamins and um, the juice shots, like yeah. ginger and turmeric and all the things, that. probiotics, all those things, yeah. And it don't start kicking in until it's like you gotta take it for a week for it to even start working. <laughs> exactly, so then you stop taking it and it's like. Mm -hmm. it's like what happened? What happened? Maybe I just turned 34 now. Come on now. I I'm six away. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get those uh, uh, multivitamins. Multivitamins. <laughs> if I don't look like this at 40, I'm gonna be pissed. I, I need to look black now. Don't black don't oh. crazy. Black don't crazy. Uh-oh. He hit his head. All right, y'all. Black don't crazy. Black don't crazy. We about to shoot this episode. My girl is here. Like, okay, girl. Okay, girl. She got... <laughs> <laughs> She's saying the national anthem. Maybe I put a little clip up if we have it. I have some footage of her doing that. It was so dope. So much we went to the Hawks we game. We had a good time. It was fun. Yes. You killed it. Were you nervous? 
No, uh, I've been singing the national anthem since I was in high school. Like for games and pep rallies. I sang in college. For Jesus. Games. Yeah, so. Okay, so, okay now. Y'all gonna see. <laughs> I'm finna, I'm finna sing. I'm, I'm a blow. I'm gonna be the, uh, I'm, when I get on this mic, I'm finna sing. And she gonna have to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Ooh, welcome to another episode of Let's Try This Again podcast. It is your girl, B. Simone. I am here. I am so excited. It's like, don't even show them who next to me yet. Keep the camera on me. Because when y'all put the camera on her, baby, she gonna shine so bright. You gonna have to put your stunner shades on. You hear me? Ah, I can't even... Okay, calm down. Everybody relax. Okay. I'm so excited. This is one of my first guests. And y'all, first of all, before we get into my guests, I want to thank every single person because I made it to number one on society and culture. We made it to number 12 in the world. I had no expectations. Y'all know I've been saying number one podcast, number one podcast. I've been saying that for two years since my last podcast. I just manifesting and saying it. And we was really number one in our category. And um Thank you to every single person that listened, every single person that watched the YouTube. I am just humbly grateful and I am, God kept his promise. Be obedient to him and he gonna do his part. Do what he told you to do, even when it doesn't look good, even when it doesn't look like it's the right thing, even when it doesn't make sense, just do it. Did God say do it? Okay, do it. You don't have to know the next step. You don't have to know A through Z. You just have to know God told me to do this. I don't know what's going to come from it. I don't know what to do, but he told me to do it. So I'm being obedient. And man, my obedience was just a blessing. And it, it showed in not only the success of the podcast, but my freedom and me talking. Sometimes I get in my head, like I, I even told one of my producers, I'm like, scratch the episode. I don't want to put out the visual. I don't like the lighting. I don't, I was over analyzing every little thing and I feel like it was just the enemy in my head because once I put it out I'm like this is not bad this is me talking I feel free I'm being myself so don't let the enemy get in your mind and start attacking your ideas your vision something you've done that you're scared to put out try it again do it you're ready you're prepared even if you're not guess what try it and see what you need to learn from the experience so I did that and I'm proud of myself and thank you to every single person that has listened and supported the podcast so far. But <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. We have a superstar on the couch. We have a superstar on the couch. She is not only a superstar, she is my home girl. She is my sister, okay, from another mother. I'm going to say my brother from another, my sister from another mister, okay? We ain't got the same daddy or the same mom, but she my sister in Christ. My girl, Crystal Renee. <laughs> What's up, B? Ah, um, yeah. I am so happy you made this work. She's like, look, B, I, every time I try to get on her show, yes. I, I'm busy. And then she tries to come on and she she said, you know what? I can make the 12 work. She got a driver outside a black truck. See, she got money. <laughs> she got a lot of money. She got a driver out there. She said, I got to go soon as I leave. So I thank you for your time no, thank and you. just coming. And, you know, you got to leave soon, soon after this. But, but you we going to make it time. work. I'm thank here. you, girl. Yes. I had to get her on here, you guys. So we connect. How did we meet? Did we meet on church, church. or online? It was we church. met at church. Yeah. We go mm -hmm. to the same church here in Atlanta. Yes. And we met at church, exchanged information. Mm -hmm. And we have just been like two peas in a pod since. Literally. <laughs> I, every time I talk to you, I always say um, how much you have blessed me in this season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't want to get too deep too soon, but yeah. I'm going to say this. on. I want to say it publicly. I've told her this privately, but I want the world to know who this woman is on social media is who she is in real life. Your heart mm. is so big and I see so much of myself in you. And I'm like, we get tainted and hurt along the way on our journey. And mm -hmm. it's so hard to not, to not cut people off. Right. You want to guard your heart, but you don't want to be like, I'm not effing with nobody mm -hmm. else. F you, F you, F you. I yeah. got my little circle mm -hmm. and some of y'all in it, F y'all too. I don't know if I trust y'all. You know, <laughs> you now. get hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah, you no, like, real. And you haven't done that. I'm somebody mm -hmm. new in your life, new yeah. in your circle, new in your vicinity. And you have brought me in with so much love. Mm -hmm. And I asked you this question the other day. I'm like, how did you know to 
trust me? How did you know to allow me in your space? Because I'm trying to learn that yeah. in this season I'm walking in. How do you know who to allow into your circle, into your space? Yeah. You know? Oof. So when um when I asked you that, your answer was so simple, discernment. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. discernment. And yeah. how, how did you get to that point of you knew how to discern and it wasn't just paranoia? Right, exactly. You know? And it definitely was my walk with God. Okay. You know, honestly, because the, I feel like the closer I get to him, the keener that that instinct is. It's a knowing. It's so spot it's on. It's like, you feel it. Like when somebody walks in the room, it's like, mm. like you feel that energy. You're like, eh, let me stay away from this. So you just watch and I'm a, I'm very, um, I'm the type of person that just observes okay. the room before okay. I jump into a conversation. You can feel it. I can feel it. I, can I need to work it, on yeah. my feelings. But also when you said you see a lot of your, like we're, we're alike. So when you, it's not, it's like you light can, tracks alike. You, it's literally like, you can feel it. I can feel that. And we really come together because it's something we don't know what it is. But when you have that light, it just attracts. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love yeah. you so much. Oh, so yeah. before we get too deep, cause we gonna get deep on here, yeah. but I don't know, like, we right in so, the day, like, <laughs> right. I, I just had to say that. Cause you know, yeah. I tell you that every time I talk to you, yes. I'm always crying when I'm talking to you. Right. But like I said, in this season, I'm very sensitive. Yeah. I'm very sensitive to mm. new people. I'm very sensitive to even people that have been in my life. You a singer. Yeah. What song can we sing? Mm. I want to harmonize. Okay. We went through all them songs. Should we just do Say My Name? Yeah. Okay. That's in shock. We love that. Okay. Down. You start. <laughs> Wait, what's your note? Alto. In well, the morning, I'm a tenor. <laughs> maybe a bass. Maybe <laughs> a baritone. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Ready? Wait, what note are you going to start off at? Alto. So say my name, say my mm -hmm. name. So what was, what was my note then? Say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name. Say my name. Okay. W, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. One, two, three, let's go. Say my name, say my name. Say my name. That's, I hate it. You hate it? It's me. <laughs> you said, okay. <laughs> say you said, name, okay. Say my name. Go a can little higher. That? Okay. Yeah. You said, can you do that? <laughs> Don't do me, Crystal. No, no, well, can you do that? Here. Could Why you do you that? Down here? You're noted. Raise your eyebrows <laughs> higher. You're flat. I am up here. You're down here. <laughs> oh my God. She said, well, can you do that? <laughs> I know you can. I know you can. I know you can. Thanks, All right. Do it again. All right. <laughs> do it. I'm nervous. I'm so and scared one, to sing with you. Two. One, Five, two. six, seven, eight. I say my name. I say my name. Well, I, do <laughs> my, my, I say my name. name, name. Okay. I say my name. <laughs> Lord. I don't want to, I don't want to play no more. Well, we got this. We got this. We can do it. Okay, okay all right. I'm sweating. I feel like I'm about to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Ooh, now that's hard. <laughs> all right, come Too on. Too early. Okay, okay, ready? What's your note? Tell me your note. Say my name. Say my name. Say. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. That's mm -hmm, my note. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. One, two. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your <laughs> Here's a say, money say, yeah, say, 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 <laughs> say, 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 say my name, say my name. Okay, okay, one, I'm close two, my eyes. I can't look three, at you. Sing, say my name, say my name. That's not right. No one is around you. Say, say baby, baby, I love you. That's not right. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> okay, let me just sing with you. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Just sing. Let's just sing. Oh, just okay. No harmonies. No just, harmony. But I love harmony gonna so much. Amazing. I have to find it. I know. I can't even look. <laughs> one, two, three. Say my name, say my name. When no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game, say my name. Whoa. Was that it? Yeah. Okay. That was it. Okay. You done it. Close my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't do the whole song. Okay. That's enough. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll make it hurt bad. No, you know. I was right. That was it. When you found it, that was it. But I found it and lost it. Okay, you're gonna keep it. Let's time. try this again. All right, all right. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Same. One, two. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, one, two, three. Say my name, name say my name. name. When no one is around you. you, say, baby, I love, love you. If you, you ain't, ain't running game, say my name, say my name. You, you acting kind of shady and calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my up. name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game. <laughs> I fucking found it. Do you want to be Tony or, no, or let's Beyonce? Do, let's do it in Tony voice. Say my name, say my name. No one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. You ain't running game. 
I found it at the end, y'all. Don't play with me. I know my harmonies. At least I know when I'm off. See, I know. Because see, some people don't. And you just keep singing. And it's like, stop. stop. Please stop. (laughs) (laughs) At least I knew when I was off. Yes. And then I found it. But you see, the only way I found it is because I did what? Hey, hey, didn't give up. I didn't give up. I tried again. You listen. That's the only way I found it. Yeah. That's that's a word now. (laughs) <laughs> they gonna ooh please y'all don't judge me now <laughs> hey I wanna do another one now I'm into it it's like y'all uh, gonna sing this whole episode uh, right. it's a good one I just wanna do one more you I, wanna I do a Tony Braxton song let's do it <laughs> <laughs> seven whole days I don't know those words <laughs> <laughs> Jesus it's like i uh, break my heart okay okay ooh that's hard okay right from I'm just- so sick <laughs> <laughs> we both said <laughs> okay. Unbreak my heart Say you love me again Undo this hurt you caused When you walked out the door And walked out of my life Uncry all these tears I cried so many nights I fucked up. That was so good. <laughs> The beginning was so good. I should have just stopped. I should have just stopped. We love you, Tony. Wow. <laughs> you have to, see, you also have to know when to stop. Hey, Shabbat. <laughs> Not just try again, but stop <laughs> and reset. Sometimes you have to reset. I shouldn't have kept going. That beginning was good, though. Put the good clip in there. Now, when yeah. y'all show the people, put the good clip in. <laughs> good. I know no, y'all heard it. Oh, that please. beginning was good. Okay, just one more time. Okay, okay, okay. Just that part. Okay. The beginning part that I did good at. Okay, right. And then I'm gonna let it go. Okay. Because y'all like, B, you don't got it. I got it. And you I know it. y'all heard it for us. It was two seconds of goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. two, three, sing. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this hurt. She calls when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. Okay, I'm stopping right there. Okay. Because then that's when I fall off. Okay, that's all right. But that was good. <laughs> okay. Did I do it? You did it. Tell the truth. So good. Thank you. You're amazing. Add me to the group. Yes. She's like, baby, this is a solo. This is not a duet. I would be at every every Hawks game. <laughs> I'm like, ain't nobody checking for you, Otis. <laughs> Y'all, please put in the comments, did I have it? Yeah. I might have not had the whole thing, but I had that one part. Y'all heard that harmony. Yes. Thank you so much. I was in a girl group. Thank you. Period. I was I know 15. That's right. Come on now. Not Bring telling y'all the name. Fantasy. F A N T A C I. C I. It's like, why are y'all trying to be so different? Right. <laughs> why are y'all trying C-I. to be so different? C-I. That is hilarious. Okay, so we did the singing, y'all. But I do want to ask you, I'm going to go straight into the questions because right, talk to me. you are how old? I'm 41. She is 41. Yes. And look at her. I yes. told her, I said, when I am in my 40s, I better look this good, this <laughs> fly, have this much success, this much yes. abundance, this much joy. But we're going to talk about men. Let's dating. talk about it. Because me oh and you God. were just talking about on the couch. Mm-hmm. How do you keep that faith and that just knowing and belief that my husband is coming? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a mother. I- to any woman out there that mm. feels like you're losing time, you're getting older, yeah. maybe your career has taken over, I feel the same. Yeah. Sometimes I feel the same. Like, I'm not nervous about it. I don't mm-hmm. want to say yet because I still have faith. I'm mm-hmm. still like super optimistic about yes. it. But I am like, okay, like I, for the first time I asked myself a question. I'm like, well, every woman in the Bible wasn't married Baby. or every, you know, I mm-hmm. start going over. I'm like, no, that's not your story. That's though. Not your, yeah. So how yeah. do you maneuver through this? You know what? Um, it's a it's a process. Yeah. There's seasons of my life where I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll be like Oprah and just have me a Stedman. Wow. And not get married and just wow. be super successful. And but do then, you want that? Sometimes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Depends on what day you Okay, that's me. good. Yeah. And then there's other days where I do want the family. Um, but I'm going to tell you, V, this world and the state that the world is in makes it so scary to bring a child into this world. So hard. So me, I'm just like, ugh, do and I want to- with wanna... who you're bringing it in exactly. with. Exactly. Like I am attached yeah. to you for the rest of our lives, mm-hmm. at least the rest of this child's life yeah. until they get to an age of consent mm-hmm. or older, you yeah. know? And then even when it comes to um, getting pregnant at this age, you know, 
statistics have shown or the doctors say that once you reach a certain age, risk, it's a geriatric yeah. pregnancy and that you- What is that? Um, basically after a certain age, it's a risk at risk okay, pregnancy. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. And um, I look at, PD has said something that basically saying the stories in the Bible are just to let you know that these things can happen for you too. So we look at Sarah. She was like, I think 100 or 90. She was like Jesus. really old. Sarah. You know? Come on, and God said, no, you're going to have a baby. My God. You know? So um, I look at that and I'm like, maybe I will be a little older. And then yeah. there's women that have amazing pregnancies yep. or, or later on yep. in age. So yep. I'm like, if that's in the cards for me, that's going to be for me. Because every time I have girlfriends that call me all the time, like, have you frozen your eggs yet? And I'm like, yo, can you get Stop out of my Stop stressing ovaries, me out please? about that. No, it literally like, stresses me. I'm it's like, so stressful. Just because you took on that pressure, don't put that on me. Yes. You I, know, I went and got tested and they told me I had PCOS. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's yeah. just like uh, polyx, cyst, cyst over here. Mm. Sis. So, I'm mm. sorry, y'all. PCOS. Yeah. Google it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she was like, you need to freeze your eggs. I'm like, ma'am, mm -hmm. like, just give me a second. Yeah. Like, I'm not, That's my mind lot. isn't there yet. And, yeah. and maybe one day I'll get there, but mm -hmm. I don't want to do that right now. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm still young and you're still young. Mm -hmm. yeah. Women are having babies at 45. Baby. Okay. I got yeah. time. Yeah. And then also I'm open to surrogacy. Really? Says I have, yeah. I don't know if I want to go through all that. Wow. <laughs> so I wanna, you know That's what I'm an like, interesting look. It's a beautiful experience. And I see so many women like have actually naturally have a baby. Wow. But as I get older, I'm like, maybe that's not in the cars for me. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, but yeah, I, you know, every day it changes and I allow myself to go through those emotions and change my mind. I don't have to say stick this to one thing and that's Bible. No, yeah. I can change yeah. my mind. Yeah. 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 Cause I even went through a phase where I was like, could I be in an open relationship? I mm -hmm. thought about oh, it. Oh yeah. I, I, I'm like, B. <laughs> B. Because listen, it's stressful. It's like, you, do you think you can be with one nigga forever? It depends. I thought about that yeah. though. And I've like, also thought about um there's a thing called a commitment ceremony where because I you know, like everything under law just makes things tricky when you're successful. Okay, okay, okay. So like the whole thing, like what I have is mine, what you have is yours, what okay. we do together is ours. Is ours okay. You know, but there's if and if you want to leave, you're not like bound to this. There's no bondage. Wow. You know, but I still want to be under God because I want to fornicate all my life. Right. Okay. I don't want to fornicate. Come on. Oh my life. I want to know this is under God. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. It is blessed. The it Lord is, is blessing it. Blessing it. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So that was something that I actually looked into. I'm not even that. like the last three years. I yeah. was like, that was an idea that I was like really kind of growing more and more fond of. And I just wanted to make sure it was still like under God and that he would bless, it. bless it. Bless yeah. it. Yeah. Because sometimes when the law gets into things, it just makes it even more tricky. And yeah. then I was like, I don't feel like relationships should be that, that hard. That. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, we do all that for our business. Hello. We, we do. We, we do. We sign contracts, contracts for our business. We make sure you sign this NDA. Mm -hmm. I, I know you my sister. Mm -hmm. Sign this NDA. Yeah. My sister hasn't signed the NDA yet. I'm working on it. Honey, Jordan, and Jordan know everything. Too. No, I'm just kidding. Right. You ain't got to sign one, Jordan. I love you. You ain't got to tell all my secrets. I'll tell yours. Um, <laughs> but you know, men, relationships coming into your mm -hmm. house, you traveling with them, yes. you pulling up on them. It's like, you have a lot to lose mm -hmm. now. You, you do know? too. Yeah. We have a lot we to have lose. Lot to yes. lose. We're successful. Yeah. We're, There's a lot to think about. Yeah. So I don't know. I have have thought about open relationships. I've thought about it, but yeah. I'm like, am I just settling because I haven't had my person yet and I'm going to all is. these other thoughts or mm -hmm. do I really want that? No, I no, don't want to want share that. my man with anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like, my man, my man, my, my man. My man, my man, my <laughs> man. And then it's like, girl, so when was your, you did, uh, talked about your salvation um, mm -hmm. recently. When did you yeah. like fully commit and give your life to Christ? Um, well, I did it at age of 12 and then I recommitted within the last year. The last year, mm -hmm. same. So yeah. I'm, I've been on the same journey for about a year and a half mm -hmm. where I'm like, okay, super relationship. Like yeah. not just religion. I go to church. I believe in God. Like, mm -hmm. no, a relationship with it's him. Different. Fasting, mm -hmm. listening to him, yes. hearing him, walking with him, not making a decision before you at least ask him Come and consult on. him. Oof. This is so new to me. Yeah. And I have never dated mm -hmm. in this season. Yeah. As a woman closer to Christ, mm -hmm. like there's culture dating yeah. and there's kingdom dating. Hey, hey. So I'm like, but you got to find a kingdom you man. You got to find a kingdom man. And that's hard. And then, you know, I had this conversation with a friend the other day. She was like, do you think you would be celibate if you got in a serious relationship? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't promise that I would. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't good. promise that. Yeah. Like my honest answer is, I don't know. Right. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm celibate now because I ain't got no candidates. Hell, it's hard when you my, got something laying right When you right got there somebody and you love like, him and it, it, chocolate and it's pretty fine. teeth and just yeah. fine and it's like okay stop touching my booty please stop. god is watching 
like, Jesus is the Holy Spirit is right here right, with us. Right. So I can't promise that I would be celibate. Yeah. Um, if I got in a relationship now, mm-hmm. what? How are you with that? Like mm-hmm. sex, kingdom, culture. Like what journey are you on right now with? sex if you don't mind yeah no right now i'm not having sex going and get nobody right 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 right. (laughs) but it is it's really hard to um to like with hold that when you got somebody like right there like it's a fight and i've had i went through a um, season of my life where i was dating this guy and um i told him i said i want to experience love the way god intended jesus because when you think about it every time the relationship is going amazing then you have bring sex into the fold and then instantly it's like the scales are like lifted off your eyes like, like I cannot believe it. I had sex with you. <laughs> right. You I see gave you my everything. body. Every, listen. That veil is taken off. It's taken off and you're like, oh my goodness. And it changes everything. So I said, I feel like God put that in place to protect us from heartbreak. Yeah. yeah. But we continue to open up ourselves literally. First. Yeah. Yeah. Or too early. Too early. Yep. Yeah. Um, and the guy I was dating at the time, he was like, you know what? I'm with you. But he was. An F boy. And it was he was he was he was respected. It's like my you say you with me, but now we watch but Netflix he, in your hand. And but he was with somebody else too. What you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them cannot like they'll be doing their stuff they stuff on the side and try to respect what you want to do and act like, yeah, I'm with you. You're with me because you with somebody. So else. you were like, I want you to be celibate with me. Yeah. Not even have I don't mm-hmm. want you to do anything I want outside that kingdom of me. Love. Yeah. Got you with just us. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, it also shows a different type of discipline when you can like literally let go of what the flesh wants Man. and focus on God. And you see like, have you ever noticed like when we fast, how everything is just so much more productive? Quicker. Baby, you Quick. hear him clearer, you, honey. That's how I came up with this. I fast, I was like, I'm gonna do a fast. I didn't mm-hmm. even go into it saying, yeah. God give me, I just said, I want clarity mm-hmm. and I want to work on forgiveness. Ooh. Forgiving people that hurt me mm-hmm. and forgiving myself. Yeah, That's all I asked for in my fast. Mm-hmm. Every day I was praying forgiveness. I was saying people's names that I needed to forgive. Mm-hmm. I was saying that's I forgive good. myself. I love myself. Mm-hmm. God give me clarity on my career. Girl, two day, two weeks, mm-hmm. two, we- two weeks, not two days into this fast. He dropped the name, the description. I wrote, I was weeping wow. in the bed and yes. I just picked up my phone and I started writing. Mm-hmm. I wrote a hundred names. The mm. last name was let's try this again. Wow. I wrote the description about resi- yes. but because of that fast. Because of like, I'm telling you, the way you tap into the spirit when you're on a fast is unreal. It's different. And you want to stay in that like forever. It's like, forever. can I stay in this forever? I feel so close fi- to him. Yes. Yeah. And I yeah. was telling someone like, when we were doing the fast, I was like, I want to stay like this forever. Yeah. You yeah. know, and as soon as over, like, oh, give me a steak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon drop. When, when we went out to eat after church, we went out to eat on Easter, y'all. I was like, oh, I get to break my fast today. Yes. Baby, I'm going in. We had a Baby. table full of food. Oh, my God. It was insane. I had four bites. I said. You were like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> literally, I had some pizza the other night and I literally like spit it back out. You were like, I can't do this. It was too much. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. Your gosh, taste when- buds start to change. Yes. Yeah. And I and love mind pizza. Changes. But it was just, I was like, this is too much I can't do it. Because I let dairy go. Dairy. And my body okay. was like, what you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> let it go. Stop. Man. But yeah. Yeah. Fasting helps so much. I've never mm. fasted about a guy, though. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. If I have any candidates, you know, I would. Where you at? Let's do a dating show. Let's do it. Like, Are you serious? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the comments if y'all want me and yes. Crystal to do something. That would That'd be, be crazy. crazy. It would be. I want to do one. Oh my god! Like maybe you could host it, or maybe we could do it together. together. Let's host together like together. we have, we're like, no, no, he would be better with yeah. Crystal. He be better. And we like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Make our own bachelor. Make our <laughs> own love is blind. Listen, I love love is blind. It's so good because that concept of not seeing somebody but falling in love with their heart, heart and their yeah. conversation. Because honey, these eyes will be deceiving. These eyes and had me falling for somebody that was not good at the core. It's like yeah. he is a rapper <laughs> and he got ass and titties all around him every day. Hello. On the internet. On the internet. Throwing yeah. money and you think that's he, cute. It's not. Nice. I'm getting further away from that though. Good. The old me mm-hmm. would have been like, that's my husband. Yeah. The new me is like, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> Literally, get behind me. I know that ain't my man. <laughs> that is not my man. But the, God the did things not say that. you're attracted to when you're younger. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I used to always tell mom, I was like, I just like them nice and a little rough on the edges. Honey, they're a little rough <laughs> on the edges. And I still like them a little rough on the edges, but <laughs> you gotta have a little they're rough edge. on the edges. It will get you in trouble. Prison. <laughs> now, now the FBI know when you talk about Sir Officer, it was him. Please don't look at me. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If I if I am dating you, I'm gonna tell you day one, I'm a snitch. Mm-hmm. If you, <gasps> so I'm not a snitch if something happened. Right. Because I already told you, day one, I'm going to tell if they come. It was him. It What? It was not me. 
pr- you want me to go to prison for you? No. I'm not doing that. No. I'm not doing that. Let me tell you something. Um, I was doing edibles when I just being transparent. Yeah. And I yeah. gave my friend, this guy was dating yeah. some, and um, he was like, I don't feel nothing. So I go to my drawer, my friend who lives in LA, she's like the edible queen. Yeah. So I was like, now this right here? <laughs> You're like, all right. It's going to get Take you. Take a nibble. Like, don't don't eat that whole one. thing. He was like, all right. He took a big, I said, that was too much. Three o'clock in the morning. Of course, I'm like gone. Like, he's like, wake up, wake up. He's like, we got to go to the hospital. I said, I I, I, I'm gone too. <laughs> and I'm not going to jail for you. What was I saying? You, we, we ate was, an edible. We was on drugs. What? We was on drugs. I'm not. you going to have to Uber. I said, you're going to be all right. You're fine. Go Drink some sleep. water. <laughs> I can't. Like, I'm not going to jail for nobody. Say, the headline ain't going to say me and Crystal Renee. No, mm-hmm. it ain't. I can't. I have to protect myself. So oh it's like, I'm not going gosh. to jail for nobody. Or they're going to question me like, oh, so y'all was doing. No. No. We, we, we thought not. they were regular brownies. I, th- I, I thought I was a gummy. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Haribo. Uh, I thought it was a gummy bear. bear. Please. Somebody. Oh my God. It was crazy. He kept saying, We've got to go to the hospital. I was like, We're not going there to the There ain't no we, sir. <laughs> there ain't no we. I was like, I can't even move right now. <laughs> Either like, roll over or figure it out. But in my mind, I'm like, you know how, like, in those gang shows, like, <laughs> somebody gets shot and they just throw them at the car and keep going. <laughs> You like, and he would have been on the side of that road. Bye. Get on out. There's somebody outside <laughs> the North Side Hospital because I can't. <laughs> oh my God, that's me. I'm not holding no man down. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Mm-mm. Illegal stuff. Mm-mm. Please don't do that with me. Please don't. I'm so scary. And we're attached to too much. Like our integrity is too high. We're attached to too much. Like I can't. <laughs> don't risk that. I am not gonna be on the shade room talking about be Simone and ever. Kodak Black it was <laughs> be Simone and Kodak. Hold on now. Kodak cleaning up though. <laughs> Baby, he got a little light on him. <laughs> Hold on now. I said. Because the recent clips I've been seeing of Kodak, I said, now that dip- brother got the Lord. <laughs> Baby. That's something a dip- spiritual. He, yeah, that's something internal. I can see Kodak it. Kodak looking picture yeah. perfect. <laughs> now that man, Look at I what said, I- ooh. Kodak looking like Polaroid. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Kodak is Kodak? here. He done cleaned up, honey. Yeah. That's that skin, that, that smile, smile, that joy. Yes, it's different. Kodak, it's I'm proud him. of you, brother. Yes. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Yeah, Keep no, going for now, because sure. check your DM. <laughs> <laughs> they don't you lie to me. I won't. <laughs> him though whatever I'm he's too. doing he looks happy he looks yeah. joyful and that starts with that internal it does that ain't got nothing to do with the outside world Mm-mm. whatever you working on internally is going to mm-hmm. exude physically period all the time yep who yes mm. proud of you brother for sure mm. yeah but yeah that, mm. I mean, that's where i am with that okay I'm give i'm not having given up hope i'm not dating anybody right now okay um i did date two people last year okay and i hadn't dated in years I just finally said, Chris, you got to be more open. Okay. Just da- Give dating him a is chance. getting to know. You're collecting data. That's it. That's it. Even and if it's not your husband, you're yeah. still learning about yourself. Exactly. What you want, what you don't want. Okay. Yeah. And I think now dating at this big age, um, one, my tolerance is a lot lower. <laughs> 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 and I spied it First real date, quick. This ain't going to work. Yeah. No, it ain't going to work. Yeah. Wow. So I did that. I dated a, one guy. Um, his sister actually reached out to me, connected us. He was fine. Too. I think you told me mm-hmm. about him. So, okay. So before you go into this, when you mm-hmm. talk about all these things and mm-hmm. these guys, and they ever be hitting you up like, don't talk about me on the podcast, or no. I heard you say this about me. Or, it's, this is my life, my story. See? You, you know what I'm saying? And I don't ever call it email, but. Okay, well, let me air out my niggas. After you go. <laughs> <laughs> After you go, let me air my yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, but we dated and um, it just seemed like a lot of people get so caught up in this Instagram world. And you on Instagram, I'm like, you're so professional. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people get caught up in this Instagram world. Yeah. And I um, thought that I was talking to one person. And then when you get to know him, it's like, oh, you're not what you, you post. Are. You're not who you post who to you be. portray to be. Hello. Wow. <laughs> what you posting on Instagram, wow. that's not who you are. And um, it didn't take long for me to figure that out. Okay. You know, okay. and then I was like, eh, I'm cool. You're I'm not that. the one. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. And... A lot of times people feel like we're a great idea, like they can handle it. Uh-huh. And so they get in there like, oh, wait, they move 
different. These women got their stuff together. What? And it's, they really don't need me for, see, I, I believe I need now. a man. Mm-hmm. I, I want to have a family. I want a provider. Yes. I want a husband. I want a protector. I mm-hmm. want my purpose made. Yes. Right. I want my soul made. I want, mm-hmm. I want who God has for me, but I don't need you for money. Yeah. Or I don't have to be like, babe, can I have the card for, for this right. or for that? And, and that's I, what they want to feel like. And they want to feel that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like once they, I, I want me a boss. Yeah. But when you get it. Yeah. You can't handle it. So how do you yeah. maneuver? Like, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to not not dim our light? That's no. not what I'm saying. But are you supposed to kind of let him know you need him or be like, stop yeah. pulling out your card so much? Because I'm paying for it. But, but, I got it. I got it. Exactly. Yeah. A guy don't want that. They don't want that. And you do. You have to find a balance in between letting a man know that he is needed in whatever way that you need him, you know, and making him feel like he's valid in your space. Yeah. Because a lot of times when we're so used to being by ourselves, we run everything. We run our businesses. We, anything we're in alpha. our lives, we are, we're alpha women. So we run it all. So when somebody comes in, it's hard to like learn how to switch gears and be like, okay, let me take the back seat yeah. and allow him to do things. But then when they're not stepping up, it's like, well, shit, I, I got it. I, I got it. I'll you change my own oil. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing that, <laughs> yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I beat but on you, Duval. You're right, but you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like those things. So um, it is a way to um, show them that they're needed. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, so I am, like I said, I've always done culture dating. Mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. always been sexually active. Mm-hmm. I've always been... Um, out in the clubs with my dudes and mm-hmm. I'm not saying I would never go to a club again I'm still yeah. I still go out and have mm-hmm. fun and stuff but it's just such a different lifestyle it is. drinking pre-gaming yeah. drinking before sex yeah D- drinking to get through a date mm-hmm. drinking just yes. to, okay I know this ain't my husband I just want to have fun yeah the person that I was three years ago four mm-hmm. years ago is not who I am today mm-hmm. and I don't even know how to date as this person it's different like it I've been is. celibate. I mean, uh, yeah, celibate mm-hmm. for a year. I've been sober for a year. That's amazing. So even like first dates, I'm like, I can't even have no drink. Right. And I'm not saying I, just something to yeah, take the just edge take off. the edge yeah. off. And I don't know, maybe I'll drink again for a big event or maybe I'll drink again for my wedding. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But right now yeah. I'm happy with my sobriety. Oh, I love that. I, I, I'm happy with it. Mm-hmm. And that's just, that was one thing for me. It wasn't like, Oh, I gave my life to Christ. I need to stop drinking. Right. I, no. He turned the water into wine. He, he did. It's, he it's did. It's just about like, he, <laughs> he, he did that. He did. He did. That's Bible. That's Bible. But it's about getting inebriated where you can't function. That's like, it. That's the sin. That's it. It's not that's having it. a nice glass of wine where you, it's and once you know you're like, okay, this is too much. It's about what you're convicted about. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not saying, oh, well, God didn't convict me about killing, so I can go. That's not what I'm saying. God not, didn't convict yeah. me about doing drugs. So I, that's not mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But once you work on your relationship with yes. him, He'll he will tell you heart. what order. Mm-hmm. He, you can't just stop everything at once. No. It, you, it, that's that's overload. Once what? You, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm gonna stop. Those are just habits. It's unsustainable. You can't. If your heart's not shifted, mm-hmm. you're going to go back to it anyway. Yeah, like I did that steak. <laughs> <laughs> and that lemon drop. <laughs> Work on, like I did that me, Lord. <laughs> what? It was so good. So yeah, he I just he convicted me of it, mm-hmm. shifted my heart, and I just haven't done it since. Yes. You know, so that was just my own personal walk. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I, my friends be drinking, I'm like, girl, drink. Do you think we yeah, just you in Miami? Judge. No. Yeah. You you gotta have your own relationship. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Cause mm-hmm. I'm still over here cussing, working on my mouth. Baby, okay. So listen. We all working on something. And no sin is bigger than the other at in all. his eyes. At all. Yeah. At all. I think it's what you say, where your heart is. When he knows you're trying to live for him, he understands. Yeah. There's so many things that it's in the Bible because he knew that we were gonna struggle with yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it wasn't there, then it wouldn't exist. Yeah. He knows those are things that are gonna yeah. that we're gonna have battles with. So yeah. So I encourage that for anybody. Mm-hmm. Just your walk with God is not horizontal. No. It's vertical. It's exactly all, it's all the things. It ain't yeah. got nothing to do with no crystal, no, mm-hmm. no production team, no yes. it has to do, it's me and him. Oof. So the closer you get to him, the Maybe. more he will convict That's you good. and change you and shift your heart. And you just have to walk in obedience. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's it. So I'm um, like I said, I'm a little nervous about kingdom dating yeah. because I know people are human. I'm human. I, mm-hmm. I'm so nervous about, okay, not doing it the right way or mm-hmm. whatever. It's like, take the pressure off. Yeah. Be yourself. Mm-hmm. Walk with God and the right the right steps will come. He'll as, guide you. Yeah, he'll guide you as you mm-hmm. go. But where are you at, Lord? I'm waiting on him. I'm waiting too. Because, honey, I, when I just did the live show, my first live okay, show. Okay, tell us about it. It was amazing. But B, like at the end of the day, I was like, dang, I have nobody to like just download with. Wow. Nobody. I literally go to my big ass home wow. by myself with my family was wow. there but like nobody just sit there and talk to and just be like to share that Baby. moment with yeah this was crazy wow like and it, it really set in that night where I was like dang like you really out here by yourself 
Man, okay, okay. So how now that you're dating, because you went from behind the scenes mm -hmm. mm. to seeing it all, yeah. seeing the light, seeing the stars, working with all these people mm -hmm. like the Tyler Perry's and yeah. behind the scenes and doing the work and still being successful in mm -hmm. that area. Yeah. But now it's different. You in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Baby, I can't go nowhere without this girl. Zatima. Her name is Crystal. Right. <laughs> Literally. But you know, they love you so much. Yeah. Zatima, everywhere we go, they just they love you, mm -hmm. your energy, your your um gift, yeah. uh, your acting. The mm -hmm. show is amazing. Thank you. You're now in the limelight. So how do you feel like this has been how many years of a, of a lifestyle change for you? Three years now. OK. Mm -hmm. And it's totally different totally than different. Who, the crystal you were before mm -hmm. your lifestyle. Yeah. So what does dating look like from yeah. being behind the scenes? And now do you feel like men act different? Do you feel like you're different? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely different. Okay. Um, and when it comes to dating now, I have to be even more selective, you know, because you have to think you have an image, you have a brand, and all this could go down the drain if you pick the wrong One person. person. Oh my god. Baby, the wrong person can mess up everything. Oh my god. So you have to be super picky when it comes to that. Yeah. Who you even letting your space? Yeah. Yeah. Because we have so many business calls and things that happen behind the scenes that people don't see. Yeah. But that person is with you every day is yep. going to see those things. Yeah. Do you trust them? Know your business. Baby, because I had somebody talking to some 20-something year old about my business. I said, do you not realize who you're dating? Jesus. Why are you talk first Why talking does to another she know woman that? about my business? And then second, now it's like, oh, yeah, you know the girl on Tyler Perry Sisters? Yeah, her, her and her dude, da 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 Like, you don't even understand what you're doing right now. I'm mm -mm. not... Uh -uh. Jane from mm -mm. around mm -mm. the corner. Mm -mm. Like, come on. So like oh, sure. those, that's where that NDA See, come in. <laughs> for sure. Come on. Sign this. Sign this. And that's when it, my eyes are open to that. Do you really do that now? I have to, yes. With who you're dating? Mm -hmm. wow. Anybody come to my house. Wow. Yeah. You say, you gonna sign one too when mm -hmm. you come. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Now, as soon as you, I, I'll sign it now. Yeah. I ain't got no problem. I'll be right there. And I, but that I get it. it. everybody. It you know what I'm saying? If we have a, a party or something, everybody has to sign an NDA. That way, you, you drink and I ain't gotta be on camera or yeah. have fun or be, be None of that. without being on a shade room the next day. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Just so you can be yourself and not feel like everybody's watching and cameras, everything's catching you. Um, so for that, like I had to start creating an NDA so that I could be protected in mm -hmm. all areas. Mm -hmm. And you don't even think about stuff. You don't. So three years ago, I wasn't thinking, oh, you need to sign this. You no. I just didn't anything. I had to sign an NDA with Tyler. So I didn't talk about anything with work with my partner. But like anything else is like, oh yeah, this wow. is you know what I'm saying, what's going on. But now like everything has to be protected. NDA. NDA on everything. Wow. I need yeah. to catch up. It's and it's hard because you wanna you don't want your person to feel like you don't trust them. But when you everything doesn't last. This is, so when you break up, man. people wanna pay sometimes people want a payday. They may go out and just try I to I got sell this video something. of you. I yeah. was recording you when you were talking. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Anything. So you have to protect yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think about I'm like, ooh, what is from my bad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody might got on me. Right. Ooh, wait, them them phones. <laughs> Jesus. Them now you phones. got me thinking. I'm like, can they sign the NDA now after right. eight years? <laughs> can you can we go back? Can I pay you to sign the NDA? Right. Oh my God! What's some? Oh, please, Lord Jesus! I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke no, that leak real. spirit. Yes, the spirit of leak. <laughs> <laughs> rebuke it! I rebuke that leak spirit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm thinking about the. Oh my! Oh, Braylon, now. All right. <laughs> It's like okay. what I do before, before no, the Lord a, got before me. Before the Lord got me. <laughs> Come on now. It's okay. Yeah. So now you in front of the camera and stuff. Yeah. How has your life drastically changed though? Not even with dating. Yeah, I'm just, just life. saying, yeah. Do you feel oh like your gosh. personality has shifted? Do you feel like you're more closed off? You feel like you're more open? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like like you at your you ain't even done what you are going to do? Uh, and you sis. are baby, <laughs> you gone. Listen. You, I see the awards. You. I see the, oh. the Oscars. I see the Emmys. Mm. I see the the wow. Grim. I see everything. Yeah. And I know you see it too, yeah. but I'm like, you ain't even, you. you just starting. Just starting. And that's even that is a testimony to people who feel like they're behind. You know, I'm 41. My career didn't take out till I was 37. Wow. You know, to do, really live out my dream and my passion. Um, but literally like when I walk out of the house, it's no longer like I had to literally watch everything. I got to make sure nobody's following me. Lord. I can't take an Uber because then you get in the car. Crystal. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like, yep. Now you know where I live. Yep. And then it turns into, oh, yeah, you know, the girl from Top Bear says she live right there. Lord. So like you everything, like everything goes up. You got to have protection. You got to have security. You got to have a driver. Lord. You have to um, when you go out, Budget it's always up. on. Oh, all that money, baby, for every little thing, payroll yep. on everything. You don't think about all the things that come along with, with fame. It. Yeah. Um, even 
I have a social battery and that thing drains fast. Like I'm type, my family knows me so well. Like yeah. they'll come in and they know if I go to my room, I just need to recharge for a yeah. second. You know, yeah. it's always so Give much me a I minute. have. Yeah. yeah. So when you're out, you have to be on all the time. It, you can't have Energy. a guys I don't want to talk today or like you may be having the worst day ever. And someone's like, oh my God, Fati Crystal, Fatima, whoever. Fatima, Fatima, yeah. <laughs> then you're like, hey, and you may be really feeling like crap that day, wow. but you had to turn it on. Yeah. That's something I could, I could sit in my crap if yeah. I wanted to yeah. before. And now it's like, no, you have to be on all yeah. the time. And um, people don't see that part. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't see that you're going through things and stressed out about business. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as you're elevating, like, who do I keep? Who and do I'm I let go? Human. And human. Yes. All these things come along, and but you still have to be on. So you always wanted to, I know you always sang, mm -hmm. but you always wanted to act or was this a new, a new yeah. passion? I always wanted to be an entertainer. In, in, in general. Mm -hmm. In general, Just yeah. on stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When I watched your clip from your live show, when I say you were so graceful. Thank you. Y'all, y'all know my, <laughs> hey y'all, thank y'all so much for coming. Oh my God. She walked out, she said, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, is this is a star. Like, that is not Crystal. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here watching it in the car. Um, I was in a car with her and her family. I'm like crying. My yeah, eyes are watering. Are. Yeah. Because I know the I know what it takes mm -hmm. to do that. To do that. People don't see the production. Oh my gosh. People don't see the, once again, let's try this again, the resilience. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we go mm. through the exact same things as you women out there, yes. gentlemen, whoever's watching. Mm -hmm. Y'all, ours is just magnified. Yeah, and sometimes it. you have no idea what we're going through. Mm -hmm. I am on the floor and I have to mm. pick myself up yes. by myself, of course with God, mm -hmm. but physically by myself yeah. and keep going and, keep and choose going. to do it over and over and over and over and over and yes. over. Yes. That is what got us here. That mm -hmm. is what got us to this couch. That is what got you to one of the biggest shows in the world, mm -hmm. in the culture. Yeah. That is what got you to singing yeah. at the Hawks game. Not mm -hmm. be the first time you fail. Okay. Yep. No. This ain't for me. This Honey. isn't my journey. Yeah. Baby, you keep getting tough. 10 years of no's. Jesus. Before I got, literally, I was literally working as a PA and a costumer um, at Tyler Perry Studios on lunch break, getting auditions, going to the wardrobe department, changing into something that fit that character running to take the audition, grabbing lunch, go back upstairs, change, get back to work, to get nose for 10 years. Y'all, and let me tell you, PA, in case y'all don't know, personal assistant. Mm -hmm. She was serving behind the scenes, yeah. behind the camera, still chasing her dreams. Mm -hmm. She wasn't in that moment trying to be on it. She's like, let me just serve in this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still pure heart, mm -hmm. pure soul, building yeah. your network, your connections, yes. but you were serving. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Tyler had uh, made a comment at my 40th birthday about, um, he said, I never knew this is what she wanted. Cause I never told you him. Never told I never told Ooh! him until, yeah. Wait. Started working at the studio in 2012. Didn't get the guts to say anything until 2019. Yeah, and had auditioned for stuff at the studio. Never, wow. and he had no idea. Oh, you so were he, even auditioning? Yes, for stuff for him. Yes, and he had no idea. Wow. I got chills. Yeah, and it's crazy because whatever that was that God was protecting me from, and I do feel like it was really him. Preparing me. Preparing. I wasn't ready. Yeah, you was going you through the trenches. Yeah, going through the mud. With. Yep. So if I had have gotten it then, I wouldn't have been able to steward over it the way I do now. Um, being Tyler's stylist for five years, I'm around him for business calls. I'm around him with Oprah and all these amazing people, and I get to hear these conversations. You're learning. I'm learning. I, I see how to move. I see how to treat people. Wow. I see how he manages money. How wow, he pays wow. the bills, and he. This man got a lot of bills. Wow. He sits there to this day, a billionaire, and clicks on everything to approve it. What, wait, what is this? Ooh, what is this Line dollar? Line number 125. That's what, a dollar off. What's this? Ooh, we. That gives me chills. Store? Still to this day does that. So it taught me, okay, this is what I need to do. Because you start getting so busy. Can you just handle that? Can, can you handle that? Because I don't have time. And before you know it, where my money? Let me tell you. No, let me tell you. <laughs> Go on. Because of that. I, I have learned this through a whole friend's experience. Mm. Her mother is going through so much right now mm -hmm. with 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 legal stuff because yeah. she trusted an accountant, mm -hmm. a financial advisor, somebody to do her taxes, mm -hmm. and they did illegal stuff all the mm. wrong way. And now she Jesus. is getting in trouble for mm. something she paid somebody, hired somebody mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, I'm like, I got to get on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, y'all. Yeah. I delegate so much. Mm -hmm. I, I'm paying you to do this. Yeah. I pay... Baby, 
Now that's power and delegation. For sure. Yeah, you got to delegate. You got to delegate. You're one person. You got to delegate. But you also have to oversee and make sure. Involved Mm -hmm. and oversee. And that's something I need to be better at with my finances. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you said that because that's just another confirmation. All right, Braylon. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Even this, um, my home, this uh, construction with my condo. Yeah. When I moved in, Mm -hmm. they told me six months. Mm -hmm. It's been two years. Are you serious? They just finished maybe a week ago. It took two years. You know why? Number one, not only, only am I a woman, I'm black. Mm-hmm. I travel so much. Yeah, I'm in and out. I mm-hmm. hired a third party to delegate mm-hmm. to do their job, which mm-hmm. they did the best they could. It was really yeah. the contractors bullshit. And Contracts playing are with. the worst. It's hard to you find. You gotta out. be on a neck. Yeah, and if you need to go, when I got you, please. Yeah, I guess it's too late now. Please, it's too late now. But baby, we, <laughs> yeah. well, the next one. The next thing, yeah. But in and out, busy, mm-hmm. not. Not stewarding over. Yeah. What is this? Mm-hmm. What is that? Yes. What is this? What they need this for here. Mm-hmm. They need. I just want it done. Yes. I just want it done Transferring now. Money, money, money. Transferring yeah. money. All these wires. Mm-hmm. My account called me. He said, "What's all this money going mm-hmm. out?" I said, "So you know, yeah. I, I need to be better at that." Yeah. And you guys stewarding over your money in whatever season you're in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I'm not going to say fickle and like, I just wasn't meticulous Mm -hmm. with my money when I didn't have much. Right. So why would I be doing it when I have a lot? Yeah. Prepare for it now. Yeah. That's why financial literacy is so important. It's so important. I'm really honing in on that area because even you think about it, our parents didn't teach us about saving. Nothing. They didn't teach us about SEP IRAs. I didn't know about that until the last three years. I'm like, what's that? Nothing. You know, I didn't know. I don't don't even know some of these words. I'll tell you. You, 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 I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put you on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot of things. So it's, um, and it's, and it's ways for as you make more money to put money aside that won't get taxed but it's for another rainy day after a certain age mm-mm, so mm-mm. like this is you have a certain amount that you can put away that the government can't touch okay. which is things you need to know because okay. once you start hitting this certain tax bracket you there's avenues that you can do that's legal that's legal you know what I'm saying but that's also going to set you up for your retirement okay. when you get older. Okay. And that way, like, when it's all this is over with and you like, I don't want to do this no more. You have something. You're good. And you don't yes. have to. You, you can do it because you love it, exactly. not because you have to work. And I don't want to do that forever. Yeah. You know, right yeah. now it's like, strike while the iron's hot, we got to go. Yeah. Like, literally, like, as soon as I finish here, I got to go get another bag. It's like, no stopping. Yeah. Like, every other day, it's like, I feel like I'm on a flight. But yeah. I'm like, God, this is what I asked Thank for. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And it gets stressful, B. Yeah. I like, know. I had moments I where I was like, God, what is happening? Even during the fast. I was like, what is happening? And he literally said, Crystal, I need to know that you can handle where I'm taking Jesus. you. Jesus. I said, okay. I got chills just now. Okay, I said, me okay, too. God. I was like, because he said, it's going to be stressful, but I need to see how you handle this little My stress God. for where it's going. My God. And you have spoken to me. I've had so many people let me know, Crystal, it's about to get crazier. I hope you know where you- I like, say that to you. I yeah. see it. And I keep hearing, I'm like, okay, God, I hear you. Like, because it's not just, it's not falling on deaf ears, mm-hmm. um, but also just being like, okay, God, mm-hmm. I need to le- learn how to move in this, in this stressful, yeah. t- um, stressful space. Because as you continue to grow, more people see something in you and they're like, I want to help Pulling. you do this. I want to do, do this. this. I want to do that. And I'm like, okay. It's like, and then this person over here feeling the type of way because this person's got a different type of reach. Yep. And you're like, yep. okay, how where do we? I go? Yes. And how do I keep everybody together? Yeah. And yeah. Them, I love, I, I'm, I'm loyal. Yeah. So I want to make sure yeah. everybody, does, nobody feels slighted or anything. Yeah. Left out or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and you're going to have to balance that too baby, now, Crystal. Baby. Crystal? Yeah, even with friends. You're going to have... Now, look now. Because mm-hmm. I've had let people... One of my best friends man. had to let her go um, because it turned into this um, sense of entitlement. Jesus. That like my life... I'm so, you're so, I owe I'm you. I'm supposed to have what you have. But I haven't done anything. And, and you should have put me on your show. But you put somebody else my on guy. And I'm like... My God. this girl over here been... Working and and, 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 and grinding for and years and yeah, doing our yeah, own yeah. thing, like huh? It's an entitlement. 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 And Petey talked about that. Them toxic traits. Yeah. Them red flags. Since I I've been going to change, God. every single. I said, "Oh, Petey, he he's he's he, talking to God." He, our phones are tapped because I know God listens. He know he is tapped in the whole from relationships, yes. mm. the red flags, the. It's been yeah. in order of in my order. life, yeah. in order. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this has been, change is such a blessing to yeah, us, y'all. We love is. change church. Yeah. It's such a blessing. But, I, you know, I, I went through that too. Mm-hmm. Just a public friend breakup. Yeah. And I was public. Yeah. So it was so hard. hard. Yeah. But it's like maneuvering through mm-hmm. that, not only publicly, mm-hmm. but in my space of like, you know what? 
not even just with that situation. Mm-hmm. I'm saying in general with family, yes. with people I've let stay in my home, mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. people you ain't, you can have the couch, yeah, like whatever you need. Actually, I'm gonna post you. I'm mm-hmm. gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do. It. You know what? Mm-hmm. Y'all aren't entitled to my platform. No, no. Y'all aren't entitled Mm-mm. to walking a red carpet with me. Y'all aren't entitled. I'm about to go. I'm gonna talk to you. Why I'm <laughs> taking your picture on the carpet? <laughs> Why I'm holding the camera? Right. Or mad when they only want to take your picture? Because I'm, huh? That's you, what they pay to do. You, they're paid to take my picture. But you know why we feel bad? Because of our heart. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, yeah, no. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. I have to have people around that know the vision, mm-hmm. know that right now, this that everybody, is your time. this is my time. Yeah. I am the head of this ship. Everybody mm-hmm. cannot be the pilot. Yeah. I need a flight attendant. Yes. I need somebody to sit in the seats mm-hmm. or we ain't got nobody to fly. Hello. I need somebody to, to, the, the mm-hmm. people that's, that's on, on outside, the ground. Yeah. On Tarmac. the ground. Yeah, you get in the plane. Every single position mm. is important. Yeah. I'm no better than you, Mm-mm. but this is my position. Yeah. I'm the face. Mm-hmm. And if I'm not okay, then none it, of y'all have tri- jobs. No, it anyway. trickles down to every single Nobody position. Nobody else is okay. Yeah. I can't take care of my friends. I can't take care of my family. Family. Yeah, none of that. Man, so you know, and um PD said this recently. Um, a good idea mm-hmm. is not always a God idea. Come on now. Just because it, it seems like a good friendship or yeah. a good door to walk through, mm-hmm. like you said, all these people are pulling you. Yeah. It doesn't mean God said to do mm-hmm. it. Right. You know, so yeah. being very discerning, very discerning in this season. And another thing I also want to say when I touch on like friends um, is that also being cognizant that as you change, they're adjusting too. And it's hard. sometimes they just like, wait, like my whole, my friend's whole life is changing yep. and like, I'm still doing the yep. same thing. Yeah. But it takes people to have that maturity. Like, wait a minute. That's my best friend. If I'm in the neighborhood, God, he not going to pass me by. I'm next. I'm next. So having that spirit of like, I'm so happy for yeah. you. But also being aware that like, this is adjustment for the people around yeah. me too. Yeah. And some people just can't adjust. Yeah. You know, they don't, they're yeah. either jealous or... They just need to take, it takes time for them to Jesus. catch on. They're like, okay, you know what? This is where my friend is. I'm going a, I'm to a get on board. Yeah. You know, and sometimes yeah. it takes a, maybe a separation for them to realize. Yeah. Or um, or not. That season is just over. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. I'm proud of you for maneuvering through that. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not. It's not. And, lo- and losing people and growing. And I seen an interview with Tyler Perry. He said that too. Mm-hmm. You know, the when the rocket takes off, I, I think yes, it was the, the boosters, analogy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The boosters fall off. Because they they, they'll just wait to. <sighs> The shit, the bracket ship down. If and it'd they be don't. so sad though, because mm-hmm. the people that you start off with, you think they're going to be at the end, mm-hmm. from family to oh, friends yeah. to man. Some of you dream about stuff you dream together. Dream about like, Yo, it. When I get this, I'm gonna do we this. Gonna do we this. gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. The the like you said, the discernment. Mm-hmm. I've been praying so heavy about that because I used to think just because you were doing or you showed up or mm. you did all these things, you were a good person. Mm. What is your, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Why? Mm-hmm. Why are you doing it? Yeah. What is your heart posture mm-hmm. in it? That's mm-hmm. why That's real. man sees this, mm-hmm. God sees See, the heart. Yes, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. it's like, it's, if you say I'm cold. Oh, oh, here, yeah. Crystal, here, mm-hmm. take this. Yeah. Oh my God. Or if you say I'm cold. That's a that's different. I still did it. Yeah, but it's the heart but posture. I don't want to like, share. And then I don't want it no more. I'm like, I'm good. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or if you say I'm cold, I'm like, okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You yeah. didn't see it. Yeah. You didn't feel it. Uh-uh. But my, my heart, heart is not right. Yes. Ooh. I still gave you the Deep. cover. Now you're warm. Yeah. And you're like, thank you, girl. And, and I'm over here like, like mm. yep. in my mind, this is my shit. Why, right. why do I have to get? Yep. You don't even That's know crazy. I don't want to share. Right. You don't even know I'm jealous. Mm-hmm. You don't even know I'm mm. envious. You just think she's so giving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's such a servant. Yeah. She's so. Yeah. Uh huh. Get off of me, Satan. Ow! Oh! It's a real that thing. That is deception. It's deception. Yeah. That is deception. Mm-hmm. That is scary to me. It's so scary. What is your heart? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I can that's never. Real. That is so real. I can't ever go through that mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. I can't. Yeah. Ever, 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 ever. Mm. God, I need discernment. Show me quick. Take the scales off. Please. Take the veil off quick. Fast. Show me instantly. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm yeah. moving so slow mm-hmm. now. Yeah. What is your heart? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care about what you do. Mm-mm. I don't care about what you give me. Mm-hmm. I don't care about how you support. I, no. Mm-hmm. If your heart isn't right, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want Mm-mm. it. Oh, we. Sorry. I had to no. get that out. Yeah, no. And it'll reveal itself. Time reveals all. I think um, 
where I'm having issues, I guess for, with forgiving myself for mm. certain things mm -hmm. from, from my childhood. Yeah. And we talked about our childhood. Yeah, our childhoods have. are so much alike. They are very similar. We had a discussion about it. We were like, yo, like, bawling. Literally. I feel like every time I'm with you, I'm crying. crying. It's a release. It's happy. Yeah. It's support. It's tears. Sometimes it's trauma. It's mm -hmm. healing. But our childhoods are so much alike maneuvering through that and being like, it's not just from your adulthood. No. It comes from when you're younger. I'm not just talking about one situation. I'm talking about things I've seen with men. Yes. Things I've seen with girls around me. Mm -hmm. Things I've seen with family, how yeah. they act different when you come up. Mm. Mm -mm. God, yeah. show me quick because I feel like if I knew at the beginning, yeah. it would have saved me so much pain. Jeez. If I would have went to him at the beginning, it mm -hmm. would have saved me so much pain. Yes, yes. I said this in the first episode. I'm not making another decision mm -hmm. without consulting with him first. You can't. Literally every, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says um, people go in their closet and they're just babbling to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it yeah. says, just say the Lord's prayer. Yeah. So there was a, a season in my life where I finally said, okay, I'm just going to say the Lord's prayer and say, thy will be done. That's it. Because I know whatever God has for me is beyond what I could even think. Yeah. I'm going to let him know, God, these are the things on my heart and this is what I want to do. But that will be done yeah. because I know if, if it doesn't happen, you're protecting me from something. Yeah. But literally, like when you allow him to like, hey, God, this is what I want to do. How you feeling about it? Show me a sign. Quick. Let me know. Like yeah. where he's like, OK, love, I wake up and the dude is around the rug. <laughs> then I know you'll be doing it. Then I know. Then he wakes up. OK, God, okay, one more time. <laughs> Put the dude on the rug and everything else be dry. Then I'm going to notice what you yeah. want me to do. We I don't was like, to... I am so Gilead. We... I need so a thousand signs. You already got the sign. <laughs> He's actually a man outside your house holding up the sign. No. Right. Be like, Don't do no, it. another sign. Yeah, Lord. another one, Lord. Yeah. How many do you need? Yeah. But yeah. He gonna give it to you. Yeah, I'm I'm so I love that you do that. You. Thank I'm you. you. I'm so proud of you. Yes. You freaking dope, bro. Oh. I've got to see it. Um, excuse me. I've got to see it without the cameras, y'all. Yes. I've got to see it off TV. I've mm -hmm. got to see it in her safe space, in a car, or we're out to dinner, or she is the same person. Yeah. You just so... In, unless I'm checking somebody in Pilates yeah, right, class. Right, right. Hey, hey, excuse me. She checked somebody in Pilates class. I went up to her. I said, you go, girl. I would have <laughs> never been able to do that. I'm so proud of you for your boundaries and sticking up for yourself. I was, but you see, that's the little girl in me that's like, you go, Glenn Coco. <laughs> she, she said, excuse me. This is supposed to be a relaxing moment. She said it with so much grace. Y'all, mm -hmm. saying no yeah. and sticking up for yourself mm -hmm. and having boundaries doesn't have to be mean. It does not. You're still a kind person. Mm -hmm. She said, thank you, too, at the end. Yeah, sure did. She said, Ex first of all, she started off, excuse me. Mm -hmm. She didn't say, excuse me, bitch. No, no. She, excuse me. This is supposed to be a relaxing mm -hmm. setting. We're mm -hmm. supposed to enjoy. We're supposed to, you know, have our zen. Yeah. We're supposed to be able to meditate in here. It should be quiet. Could you ladies please quiet down? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said, not her having boundaries, <laughs> sticking up for herself, setting the tone and being nice. <laughs> I said, oh, I could do this. It's a way to do everything. It is. Oh, my God. It was yeah. so, it was a moment for me. I, I talked to her after I said, mm -hmm. you really, really yeah. said something. And I would have never been able to say that. Yeah, even I the instructor, well, she's like, I, she's thank like, you so much. Yeah, she's like, I, I, I was like, girl, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I we paying for this. We so. paying for this. This ain't free. This is not free. Yeah. Oh, we. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Take that away, you guys. Being, I, I say this now. I don't, and I put it in my caption for my birthday. Mm. I put up my little baby picture yes, and I just so be cute. looking girl, at it. Your face has not changed. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> at your birthday, I was like, this girl face is not changed. I gotta see your baby pictures. I love baby pictures. I'll be like looking at my baby pictures like, what was she thinking about? Yeah. Oh my was goodness. Was she okay this day? Yeah. Was she sad this day? Mm. Was she really happy? Was she hopeful? Was she yeah. stressed right. at seven, at 10, whatever? Maybe. But I put this in the caption. I said, no longer am I going to be a nice person? Mm. I'm going to be a kind, kind person yeah. with a good heart. But I, even in the caption, I put, Jesus was assertive. Mm -hmm, baby. Jesus had boundaries. He went and Jesus that said thing no. Up. Yeah. He told it like it was. Mm -hmm. He stood on the truth. Mm -hmm. He didn't bite his tongue. He didn't. Jesus was kind. Yes. yes, he was. But he wasn't brushing stuff under the rug. Mm -hmm. he, he told people like it was. If they were right, they were right. They were wrong. If you're wrong, wrong you're wrong. Mm -hmm. he, he stood up for something. Yeah. He vocalized yes. his, his concerns. Mm -hmm. He vocalized what was right and what was wrong. Yeah. And I want to be more like that in yeah. this season. I don't want to brush stuff under the rug and mm -hmm. be like, it's okay. Mm -mm. Oh, no, I'm it's no not. longer nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind. Kind. I'm a yeah. good person with a great heart, mm -hmm. and I know that. And yeah. can't nobody take that away from me. Yeah. But I'm no longer 
passive. Yeah. Jesus Oof. was assertive. He was. Yeah. He was assertive. Be assertive, mm-hmm. y'all. It's a, you yeah. could be assertive in a in a in a good way, but be assertive. Yeah. So um, what's something before we go, you are taking with you into this year, the rest of 2024. Mm-hmm. I know your birthday's coming up in October. Yes. Oh so you have a while to prepare for your yeah. birthday, a couple months, but it's going to be here like that. It is. Time is flying. Flying. Oh my. You it's hear already me? Me- what is this? Yeah. We're already in yeah. April. It's April. Oh, April. About well, to be May. I, in two girl, weeks. I'm taking May. I'm already. Yeah, you already in May. My brain is already in May. In May. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm yeah. taking into this year. My assertiveness mm-hmm. and not only that, but my resilience. Yes. That is what this year is mm-hmm. about for me. Yeah. Um, so what about you? I am um, taking in my voice because... There are things that I'm going to have to stand on business Jesus. on and I've got to speak up about it. Um, so I'm taking that into the rest of the year because there's so many things that are coming up that I have to really be strong with. Yep. And also taking my no, because my friends always tell me like, girl, you would say no so quick. I'm like, yeah. And but is that's that new? That's my piece is. Past year, in the, like really two years, when I turned 40, I'm 41. Okay. So the past year, okay. I like woke up and I was like, I don't, I don't, if I don't want to do it, I'm not I'm doing not it. I'm not doing it. I, with, a straight, with a straight face? No. No. Are you want No. Wow. Chris, you no. I actually don't want to do that. Mm-mm. Even if it's just because I just want to sit down yeah. and do nothing. Yeah. We well, ain't got nothing to do. Exactly. Me recharging. Yes. Is <laughs> my nothing this to do. And, is and I'd rather do nothing in yeah. this house with mm-hmm. my robe on. Baby. Than go out. Oof, I got a favorite robe too. As soon as I get in the house, everything. <laughs> when that's on? Oh, goodness. Don't call me. Somebody Titties called me already yesterday. Headed. They was like, you, um, what you doing? I was like, listen, I, it was 7 o'clock. I said, I already put my robe on. Dinner's been ordered. I'm done. <laughs> Bra is off. Oh. Titties on the ground. <laughs> Literally. It's too late. It's too when late. This, this latch come off, come on. these three hooks, It's over. you better it. catch me on hook one. <laughs> when that third rock, boom. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, honey. That's so me every time I get in the car. I'll be like, driving. <laughs> I, I, oh, my god. Makeup wipes Look, off. Everything On the off. way to the house. Yes. I yeah. love that. That's what I'm taking for the Pick rest of the know. year. Okay. Yeah. And what's something that you will try again? Something you've tried that you're oh, trying again. I love again. that. Something. It, it could be yes. anything. It ain't got to be like serious, but yeah. it can be whatever. But I am going to, I'm going to try love again. Okay. Yeah. I'm keeping hope alive. And. When the right person comes, I'm, I'm praying that God sends a person that's in alignment with me. Okay. And um, that's what I want. I need that, you know, um, somebody that's definitely in alignment with their walk with God. I love that. Yeah. So a I don't God have to family, like pull man. them with me. I need somebody that can guide me. Spiritually. Yeah. It's like y'all guiding mm-hmm. financially, business, this, that. Yeah. And I got to beg you to come to church. church. No, literally. I had one guy, Um, it, we had a really long day. I was tired. And he's like, you just want to stay and watch online? I said, we just went to the Hawks game. I was tired yesterday. You think I'm not going to get up and go to church for an hour and no. a half? Church ain't even that long. No. Yes, I'm going to get I need to be get in the up. house. I don't want to watch at home. Yeah, no. If, the only way I'm watching online is if I'm not at, in Atlanta. Same. That's it. If, if I'm, I'm here, in Atlanta, I'm physically there. I need to be there. I Same. have to. Yeah. I love that. I'm so proud yeah. of you. you okay, so she told me not to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. We can edit it out. Do it. Because I love it. <laughs> What's something you would never try again? Oh, hmm, something I would never try. Because people got y'all, y'all got to know when. Okay, this season got to let that go. Now sometimes God says, uh-huh. okay, let that, that ain't for you. That ain't for you. <laughs> Whether it's uh, mm, something. something that you tried, you're like, I'm not doing that again. Um, well, yeah, I guess my ex. Because <laughs> like we dated in college, and then I tried it again. Let's not try that Let's again. Let's not try that again. <laughs> yeah. You are not the one. Yeah, I tried it. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Crystal. Yeah, thank you. I love you <laughs> This so is so much. good. It was so good. I feel like we have so much more that we could have talked about. I wanted to tap into more with our childhood stuff and mm-hmm. not go into depth, but... Yeah. Maybe we can do a like, part two or something. Put it in the comments. First of all, First of all, who wants to, I got to come on your platform. Yes, yes, yes. I got to come on there. Keep it positive, sweetie. Dates. I love you so yeah, much. You have inspired you. me in the podcast space. Aww. Even I'm like, okay, who is a podcaster that's on their own? Mm-hmm. Just doing it on your own. Yeah. I've watched your episodes. I've looked at mm-hmm. your aesthetic. I've, l- I've listened to you talk. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I tell her this all the time. She inspires me. I look uh. up to her. This is like my big sister, y'all. <laughs> like, I, I've, I've looked at you in that space and you've done it so gracefully mm. being yourself and you're just an example of me. Yeah. Even yeah. when in comedy, people ask, who do you look up to? I'm like, 
Pretty V. Yep. Oh my God. Love Just hilarious. Her. Yes. The people that are to the right and the left of me. Mm-hmm. I didn't grow up like being like, I want to be like Queen Latifah. Yeah. Even though she's an amazing actress, Fantastic. an amazing yeah. woman, an amazing comic. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Mm-hmm. I didn't grow up saying, I want to be the next, you know, um, whoever mm-hmm. female comic yeah. no i look at my peers yeah that's what inspires me the, the people that are doing it in this same realm mm-hmm. you were doing that in the podcast Thank space for you. me i'm watching you girl oh. i'm like okay I can do I can do it. You can. You have inspired yeah. me to do this. Yes. So I thank you for that. Thank you. I'm watching you. Just I'm like the rest you. of the world, yeah. girl. We're doing it. Support. And there's space for everyone. That's what I yeah. want people to understand is that a lot of times women in particular, I don't know how men are, I can only speak about yeah. women, is that when we are doing the same thing, we don't feel like we can support the next person. Yeah. There's space for everybody. And there are a millions of people that mm-hmm. support her that mm-hmm. might not know who B. Simone yeah. is or may not have seen this side of me mm-hmm. until I'm with her mm-hmm. and vice Insane. versa. Yeah. You're, you're networking, you're mm-hmm. opening up your audience yeah. and you're doing it with somebody you like. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't just want anybody on this couch because right. they have a platform. Mm-mm. Do you have a story and do we connect well? There you go. That's it. So mm-hmm. I love you. I, I thank you for you. coming. And yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let us know. Number one, should we do a dating show? Yeah, could y'all be know. here for that? Let us know. Look, because we can line up the men's now. Come on now. We can, line this could be up. the next Netflix or the next YouTube. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> or the next Patreon, who's baby. Don't, cutting don't, the check? don't Who's cutting the check? <laughs> don't make me go to Patreon and make my own check. Come on now. Um, and if y'all want a part two, we got to yes. talk again. What do you want more of mm-hmm. of our stories, us to together? Talk we got more to talk about. Yeah. I thank you. I love you, sister. I love you. Uh, no, thank you so much. Thank this is you. beautiful. Thank the you. energy here, your your crew is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank thank you. you so much. I'm doing it. All right, you are. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. Let's try this again. Another episode with Chris and Renee. I love you guys. See you guys next week. Make sure you listen to the audio on all audio platforms. And um, we'll see you next week on YouTube. YouTubes are every Tuesday. Audio is every Monday. Love you guys. Bye. Oh. I'm so proud of you, man. This is amazing. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Let's Try This Again podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and share the podcast. Until next time, stay resilient and remember, I love you guys.